This video is presented to you by Canadian Gundam. $10 flat rate shipping from coast to Canadian coast. Now also shipping to the United States. Thanks for joining me on this one. This is the review of the high grade Iron Blood Orphans 140, 144 Eoframe Sheedon. And there it is spinning in all its glory. I can't believe I actually got it to stand in a classic pose, um, you know, with the partisan without falling over, um, oh, without the stand. So stop that there. Uh, yep. Okay. Now I'm pretty excited about this review. Uh, hopefully my voice is showing that because the Sheedon and the Landman Roadie are probably my two favorite kits from uh, Iron Blood Orphans. Hence why I, um, Barbatos fourth, fifth form is probably about, you know, my favorite Barbatos version, but uh, the Landman Roadie, which I just finished painting up, um, and the Eoframe Sheeting was next, which I'll do a paint job on as well for my custom version. Favorite, favorite suits from the series, the Grunt Suits. Now, um, box art, we showed you that in the unboxing. Out of 10, I'm going to give that box art a mm, 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. I like all of the Iron Blood Orphans boxes. They're, um, they're really good. You know, the simple design, white stripe, kind of one white down one side, and then they have... Uh, the pilot or a pilot from that because they're usually many of each version um, and then the suit itself in some kind of classic action pose from the series so 8 out of 10 for that it was pretty good um, this was the there you go as you can see very similar <coughs> um, so yeah that was really good um, just a little background on the suit. So um, the Eoframe Sheedon is the mass production uh, newest mobile suit based on the Hirakari Hira and Hirakarun, Hirakarun from um, Tewas. Uh, so this is a new mass production mobile suit, which was given advanced versions or, well, I mean, early versions to um, Tekaden by Tewas. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still recovering from my cold here. Um, so it's been, uh, this is the trial run there, the first people to get these, and then Taywas has some as well. It's an extremely valuable frame, it says on the guide here, um, and basically this thing was just kick-ass through all of season two. Now, um, we were very surprised because on the, um, booklet and on the front of the box, you actually get a picture of Hush Midi, uh, who is, well, ends up being Mikazuki's offsider. He only pilots this thing a couple of times, um, I mean, Dante, uh, Derma, Outland, um, Elga, Ride, you know, they all piloted these things, but for some reason the guy who only piloted them like twice uh, in the whole series before he got moved on to, um, you know, another mobile suit was um, was pictured. Very surprising. I guess they were just trying to get his profile out there or something. So uh, they list Hush as the pilot. This thing is amazing. I love it. Overall look, I will give it a 9 out of 10 straight out of the box. This thing is amazing. You would have seen the quick look from every angle. Um, you get frame, you get armor, thrusters. Um, you know, there's a cool visor on top over here. This thing just looks amazing. Um, there's not many kits you kind of get straight out of box, uh, particularly for as cheap as this was, um, that looks so good. Obviously, it doesn't come with a ton, but overall look, I'm, yeah... I'm going for like, let's say nine out of 10. It's damn good straight out of the box. Um, now, articulation and posing. Obviously you can see you can get some good poses out of it. Uh, I only had one or two in the quick look um, on a stand. This thing would look good on a stand, but it, it kind of just looks good standing there, you know? I mean, you can push the visor up. Let's just get that up. Oops. Yeah, that was one thing, the backpack. Uh, it's only held on by that into those. I don't think it's very, um, it's very secure. I guess you could glue it on there. Um, there's no real movement, um, of the, the thrusters at all on these. They're fixed. Um, these can come out. They're just purely for holding the weapons, uh, the partisan mainly. Um, we'll put that down. There we go. So uh, we'll start here. We have the head. Um, the visor goes up, goes down. You could remove the visor. Um, you can actually go all the way around on the head. It'll go down and up a little, side to side, a little, you know, so you can actually get some good movement out of the head there. Uh, the arm is just a standard um, ball joint in there. So you can go all the way around. Um, that was what's happening to me. I was trying to get to pose and the ball joint just pops out. 
uh, on the side, move that piece of armor up and you can see the standard paint opportunity there, um, like a servo motor or arm joint, um, in which case you can then raise this uh, up to there. So you can basically get like just above shoulder height and that's pretty good. Uh, then around, you can turn that all the way around. You get some cool arm posing. The arm will go up into a nice flex um, and the ball joint wrist is standard. That can turn all the way around and get a little bit of movement in it. Uh, in terms of the waist, it's a ball joint, standard ball joint into the uh, bottom of the waist piece, you can go all the way around with that. You can go back and a bit of front. Um, if you do it too far back though, you'll notice these uh, torso pistons look like they're not attached to anything. So I prefer to keep them down a little where they look like they're still attached. Um, so you can go all the way around, a bit of back and front, not much in the way side to side. Um, oops, there goes his arm. That, that arm I think on mine is just a little loose. So. Uh, in terms of the uh, side skirts, they just go up and down a little. Um, front and back skirts don't really do any little there, not much. Uh, legs can go um, up to here. They can go uh, back to there. They can go up and you get some, uh, some ankle armor movement there. Not really much in the way of the feet though, compared to some other kits um, on a on a ball joint type uh, setup there, not ball joint, sorry. Um, yeah, no, it is a, it's a ball joint into the ankle. Uh, and then, so that's got a little movement there. You can go all the way around there with the feet, which will get you some cool poses. Um, like we said, the ankle armor was good. The knee separates there to show some more frame when you pull it all the way forward. And that's it, uh, out to the sides, you can pretty much go all the way so you can get him to do the full Jean-Claude Van Damme splits. Um, so articulation and posing, you can get some great poses. It's got some decent articulation. We'll give it an eight out of 10 for that as well. Now the accessories, accessories. Um, you get the short shield or the forearm shield, which is cool, I like that one. Um, you get the right shield, which is just the biggest damn solid piece of plastic shield I have ever seen in my life. Um, a little detail on it, uh, no stickers or anything for it, so you could easily paint this up or just panel on it and it'll look a bit better. But um, you just get one solid bar to hold there and that'll go into the forearm. Um, you would have seen the quick look, he was holding it up and you can kind of give that some, some motion there. You get the Partisan, which resembles a, I'm Australian, so this resembles a cricket bat to me, um, and that will extend out handle-wise to over mobile suit head height, which makes that over 20 metres tall. Um, and then at the smallest height, it will be just to chest height. That can clip onto the backpack then one of those sides, so you don't really need to have both on if you don't want. Uh, the other weapon or accessory you get is the JEE 023025 um, rifle, I believe it's called. Um, this is pretty cool. I like this design. Um, the Iron Blade Orphan weapons have been really good because, I mean, even the Partisan was only about four pieces um, pushed together. Uh, the rifle, two pieces pushed together, and that's it. Barrel already pre drilled out, which is nice. Um, paint this another color, it'll look really awesome um, instead of just the same like frame gray type thing. Uh, he can just hold that like that into that hand um, or you can actually on the back skirt here, raise this little piece up there and that will clip down over there. And if he's fighting with the partisan another shield, you can just have that clipped onto his back skirt. It's really cool with that because the Lamb and Rody uh, really had the same sort of thing. Um, so that's it for accessories, guys. You only get four bits, um, if, unless you count the visor as an accessory. Now, you noticed I didn't actually use the... Uh, whoops, the visor came off. You would have noticed I didn't actually use the stickers. Now, um, the sticker share I showed you in the unboxing, um, that was only two stickers, and that was for... Get that down there. Uh, you can see in here, the eye and the visor little circle. Those are so easy to paint, I wouldn't even bother with stickers. Um, 
you could just use a toothpick and drop a dot of paint on each and it'd be much nicer looking than the stickers. Nothing, there's nothing wrong with the stickers. Go for it if you don't like painting, but obviously I like painting, so I'm not going to bother putting stickers on there. It's just extra work for me to get them off. So accessories, I mean, you do only get four things um, apart from the suit itself. Uh, so we'll say um, seven out of 10 for the accessories because the accessories you do get are really good. I mean, you can get some other kits which you've got tons of accessories and all rubbish, but this is really good. Fun factor, I had so much fun building this kit. It was amazing. I will give it a 10 out of 10 for fun factor. That's right, you heard it, 10 out of 10 for fun factor. Not often you'll hear that. Um, but that's the IBO line of kits like frame detail, armor over the top. There's usually some sort of gimmick like a visor on this one. And it's just awesome, fun to play with, fun to assemble. Final score. Yeah, I love the kit. So this kit is getting a nine out of 10. That's almost, you know, like tough to beat on most kits. So guys, definitely pick this up. It is definitely worth a buy. Um, I had to order mine from OS because my local hobby shop always seemed to be sold out, but um, that's it. Very much fun, very good on the shelf. I mean, you can have it dual handing the partisan. You could have it with the riot shield and the rifle, the partisan on the back forearm shield, holding the partisan in this arm, pointing the rifle and leave the right shield to another kit. Um, but definitely, definitely customizable and easy. This kit is gonna be some fun to do something with. I haven't decided yet. I don't wanna paint it white now after, you know, you can get Augur's custom. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be painting it some other color. Um, I, not that I don't like the wine red because my man roadies that color kind of color now, but just something different because I can. So. Thank you very much for joining me for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. Go and get this kit right now after you finish this video and have some fun with it yourself. All right, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Stay happy, keep building, and we'll see you on Gunpla Network. Bye.